<laughs> morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela, I'm the Crazy Poppy Lady and today I'm going to be attempting to dye these cottons with an Audi dye kit. And so of course, because I'm using an Audi product, this yarn's going to be all mine. Come on, let's go and see how this project turned out. I've never dyed anything before, let alone cotton. Right, so let me drop down a bit. Okay, I'm just checking I'm in frame. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. Filming equipment in front of me, that over there, and me trying not to look like I've got dip dazzle eyes for a change. This is gonna be really strange. I'm just gonna to talk to the camera and hope that the computer's collecting it, uh, the info. Right, so as I said in the intro, I'm using this Signet um, cotton. It's 100% cotton. All right, um, I will show you closer up in a moment when we go down onto the table. So I've got 100 grams of this one that I've hanked up. How cute do these look? Okay, I've got two that are little 10 grammers and then the other ones are 20 grams. Okay, then I have the other yarn. The, um, the other cotton that I wanted to try dyeing to see oh, which one took the colour better. Okay, so the next one is this one here. It is the Art Yarn Art Baby Cotton, which is a mix. It's an acrylic and cotton 50-50 mix. This is only a two weight. But this said nothing about being able to dye acrylic. So this one is the will it stick or won't it stick, which is why I've um, only got the 50 grams of this one that I'm going to be attempting to use this dye on. I don't really want to waste it. It is beautiful cotton. But I've got this one in a little 10 gram and then a two in 20 gram. So all of the hanks are the same weights. I've just got a lot less, of course, of this one. Right. Let's move the camera down. Let's read what the destructions say on the pamphlet that is in this colour kit and let's see if it works or whether it is one heck of a mess up and I end up with two um, <laughs> loads of hanks that all look the same as what they started with or end up brown. Put your guesses in the description box below and then you can add extras to your comment later on to say whether it was a success or not. See you in a minute. Right, so here we are back down at the table camera. Okay, so as you can see, I've been sensible this time round. I've put my bumblebee um, cover on my work surface so I don't dye it because guaranteed if it was going to happen, it would happen to me. I've got myself some of the, what the Americans call Shran Rappel, however they say it. But um, yeah, no, that's just out the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got a pair of scissors to cut it, um, yeah, so to cut that. I've got my die kit, I've got my hanks, I've got a bucket for soaking purposes and I've also grabbed a couple of these um, a takeaway foil containers just so that when it's um, been dyed and I need to leave it to rest, if I do, I don't know, I haven't read the destructions yet. Um, but basically, if I have to leave it, I can leave it here and it means Liam won't die himself because we all know that puppy likes to get into everything. Okay, so let's have a, a closer look at the 100% Signet Cotton. Come on, focus in. There we go. This is a 100 grams and there is 200 metres. It's 100% cotton. Warm wash at 40, hand wash at 40. Uh, cold rinse, short spin, do not ring, do not iron. Okay, so of course that means do not tumble dry as well. 
Now, let's nick the label off of the uh, yarn art. Okay, so this is the other one. This is the whiter out of the two because I I chose um, a vanilla cream in the 100% um, cotton and then I chose the white in the uh, baby cotton, uh, the yarn art baby cotton. So, oh, which way is it? That way. So uh, there are the details and when it focuses in, it's 50 grams, okay, uh, of a two white, 50% acrylic, 50% cotton, and the colour weight on this one is 400, okay, uh, you can wash it at, I think that's 40, and it's the same rules as the other, other cotton, All right, so let's move this little bit out of the way a moment and find out from the destructions, sorry, instructions, um, what I'm going to need to do. Tip it out. Where are you? There we go. Oh, uh, elastics could have done with them earlier. Right, okay. So in the kit, we've got a load of empty bottles. That's good because they've all got the colour tips on. So hopefully the dyes in the dye packs here will match in with what's on top of the bottles. Okay, and then we have some gloves. We're going to need them or you're going to end up seeing multicoloured hands for weeks on end. Okay, and then we have our destructions information here. So they state that this kit that I had, I'm sorry to say, um, I did have a look and this one isn't on the website at the moment it may come back it may not we never know without it now do we i've only got the one and these cottons will be for me to use okay so it's saying here wash the fabric as normal and leave a damp so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my bucket i'm going to shovel the yarn in and um, that i'm dying all of these little hanks i am now going to do step one pop it in a bucket Right, I'm adding a little bit of warmer into a bucket of cold, just in the hopes that, well, it's warm, I like them. I don't know what I'm doing, remember? Right, come tap, stop. Okay, so we'll grab these cottons and unhank them, I suppose. There we go. I'm just literally laying them on top of the water and letting them um, sink down. At least then, that way I know this. if they're submerged naturally, hopefully they've got more water in them than on them. Okay, so that's that lot that in. Cropes. Now for the loony ones. Where are you? Other end. I'll speed up this bit of the film for you. Or just move faster and do everything. Okay, so the white, which was the 50-50 mix, has sunk to the bottom, um, but the 100% cotton isn't, so they're going to need a squish, and I may put a plate or something on top, just to make sure it submerges it quite nicely, if you get what I mean. Two to go. I'm getting impatient now. <laughs> oh, one of my ties fell off. That's not good. All right, that's not that one. That's this one. Oh. I found another one. Oh, pants. 
Yeah, so what I'd done was on most of these, when I put the tie on, um, I did it properly with a proper knot, but then on the ends, I decided to do a slip knot version to see whether it would hold up, and it isn't. Um, and that was so that I could identify um, where the start and end was being hidden within the um, hanks. Right, I'm going to move the camera so you can see it floating. Okay, so here it is in the bucket. Um, I'm going to be really, really careful here because I really don't want my camera falling in the water. No, me, it would happen. Okay, so I'm just going to literally push this one down. And as I said, this is the 100% cotton. So now it's a case of giving this probably, what, 30 minutes soak time just to see if that does anything as i said i don't know what i'm doing i've watched a load of cotton how to dye cotton videos i still don't know what i'm doing but here we go right so i will leave those guys there in that tepid water and i will see you in 30 minutes i don't know if you can hear this over my refrigerator little pops on the water where air is being released from the yarn you might see some of them pop up Right, okay, it's been 20 minutes, can't wait any longer. So uh, let's move that top layer out of the way first and we'll grab the one that was in a ridge at the beginning. Wish me luck. <laughs> see if I can see something, there we go. All right. Number one, top fish. There's another tie. Now this is where those years of not having a washing machine and having to wash by hand. Yes, some of us did do that, kids. <laughs> it's where it, this comes into its own really, isn't it? Okay, lots of years of practice. so that's the first three done that is our mix cotton i think oh i'll check the labels in a minute okay now find a tie on these ones looks like a bit of a jumbled mess at the moment doesn't it fingers crossed this won't come up and bite me on the bottom by putting them all in at the same time but I'm just too impatient. Now the reason I'm not sure which one's which anymore is because I've taken the other hank, um, uh, sorry, the other two balls and put them back in my craft room so there's no chance of any dye leaching onto them on the work surface. So you won't see the original balls any more um, during this filming or at least not until the end when this lot's perfectly dyed hopefully and dried and everything's worked out well or not depending
and so there we go that's ooh, all of them squished out so uh, let's move over to the dining table and have some fun right so let's see what the next step is it is to fill the bottles with the powdered dye you can hear it's got the dye in it okay so uh, fill the bottles of powdered dye with warm water okay any sort of level mark no but this one's blue because it's turning the bottle blue i don't know if you can see that it looks a bit pearlescent oh, and i've got to replace the cap securely shake well until dye is dissolved okay so let's run around the counter you can giggle while i do it right so before i get prepping for the next bit any spare dies are going back in the box and right out of the way and hopefully i will only need to use what is in the um bottle right, bottles here we go it's time for the blue now my touch really awkward so Oh, that's coming through already, I think. Yep, more water. This one done. That was close. The bottle cap screwing on monkey gang. Okay, that one's better. glasses on in case I get an overspill but might be here a while two bottles down <laughs> three to go I'll speed up this little bit for you the annoying bit the shaking what's going to shake more the balls on my belly <laughs> guaranteed it'll be the belly there we go now i've put tissue around just on the off chance that there is a leaking bottle at least this way it's going to get the bottle before it gets me and we do in fact have leakage on the blue and a little on the green as well Yep, dyed my hands already. I haven't even touched the <laughs> work. I did say this blue one was a bit of a lip bottle lid. Yeah. Oh well, if I'm covered, I'm covered. <laughs> I'm going to get covered in dye, I might as well not be too bothered. It'll come out in the wash, right, in three to four weeks. Right. So, and that's the um, blue one. Hopefully, it's uh, shaken up enough move on to the green now on to the uh, pink or possibly red don't quite know until it comes out do we? these are some really random colours next one up the yellow is there any leakage on that one tiniest bit so it is definitely pink in that one now don't worry i'll be using all these bits of paper towel and stuff to soak up any leakage later on as well um i've learned i need to use paper towel okay this yellow one <laughs> oh my word this yellow one is seriously leaking A re lid refit. Oh, well, that helped. Just 
popped its lock. I just want to see if this one's actually leaking or not. Now it's on as tight as it can be, it's on straight. No, we're okay now. <laughs> but the red's exploding on the work surface. I think I put too much water in these, but as we all know, this is one heck of a massive experiment for me. So <laughs> the more that goes wrong, the more we can giggle about. So I take the lids off and they all start going like that, like a little waterfall or something. That's going to be the worry. Right, okay, so let's tip that upside down. Make sure it's got powder at the bottom. I don't know, you can't see through the bottle, so... There's a no... You don't quite know unless you risk it and take off the lid. I don't think so. Right, so now I'm going to <laughs> change my hands. I don't know if you can make those out. There is bits of green, bits of yellow and bits of orange already on that hand. Um, right, I'm going to pause a second and get behind the camera, or should I say sort, sort out this prep area, making sure that um, I've got my gloves on this time. See you in a minute. Right, so here I am, I'm back over, laid out the first hank, which is looking like it may be one of the smaller, thinner ones. So one of our 10 grammers. I don't know, I really should mark them out. Yeah, it's a 10 gram, I've just pulled a different one out to see. Right, so here's a cheeky tip I learned when working in a care home. If you're going to be wearing any type of rubber gloves, make sure you've got some hair ties on your wrist. It might sound strange to start with, but basically a popping on glove, now you've got to remember, I don't know what I'm doing with dyeing, but I know normally how to keep my hands clean, she says, after she forgot to put the gloves on. And then all you do is pop the elastic at the top section here. Okay, that stops any um, fluids and things coming down, running down your sleeves. So as you can imagine, because I worked in a care home, <laughs> it was bodily functions <laughs> that weren't running down my slip hands. All right. Pop that second one on. There we go. All done. Now, apologies, these are the ones that came in the packet and they're a bit noisy, but hopefully the camera won't pick it up too much. Right, I've put some um, cling film. There we go. I'll get the right word in a minute. I put some cling film down on top of my waterproof. Now, my camera doesn't go out any further than this because my stand's not big enough. So, as I'm working along, I will have to sort of readjust the camera so that you can see the bits I'm working on. I haven't got the foggiest what I'm doing. Whether I'm going to go for a solid or a speckle. Hmm, what are we on? We're on the 100 grams. So I'm going to try this one with a solid. And let's play it safe and go solid blue. All right. And <laughs> she says play it safe. It's going to take forever, isn't it? It might as well just dip it in the dye oh dip dye later right now try and work out how to take the lid off without using teeth get a twist i really don't know i'm twisting gang on honestly i am ah there we go something's doing it's probably got a child safety lock on him or something <laughs> oh dear Raphael. come on you stupid thing undo and of course something I hate plastic gloves. Right. Nice little push pull system. Doesn't say anything about how to take the lid off on the packet. Doop do do. Twisting and twisting and covering hands in dye. It's not coming off. I'm not going to be able to be as precise as I want if this is the case. And there's nothing happening on the top of the tube. This wasn't meant to be a dye kit review as such, but luckily you can't buy this one because you can't even get into the cap once it's working. 
Oh dear. Alright, I'm gonna just keep going, but what I'm gonna do is keep twisting and keep trying, but probably fast forward it and see if there's another method to get this lid off. Let's read the destructions. Replace cap securely, shake well, dye, apply dye to fabric. There is nothing about it has a safety cap on it. Right. Right, so this one will be a dip dye because like it's doing my head in. So I'm going to grab another one of those metal into food containers. I'm going to pop that down there. Now I buy these to actually make lasagnas and freeze them for, for the family so they're not re ones that I've got from my local takeaway. Right. Stick the gloves back on. Stick this back on. Right. <sighs> there is the option to paint but I don't have paint. Right. <gasps> Ooh. I'm just going to be a twit. Right. So, put the blue. This is <laughs> going to get re dyed, don't panic. But, oh, wow. Okay, so I'm not too sure if you can see how well it's taking. Let's um, pop an end in and get a solid lump of dye going. It does seem to sit on it quite nicely. Right. I know this isn't how we're meant to do it. I'm gonna have other. I'm gonna have proper hand dyes going. Oh no! But I just literally want to see if it takes and if it dies, and then I will come back once I've worked out how to get the lid off. And um, do it again, right? So is that squished, uh, squished on? That was just too quick. Oh, we've got a missed bit there. Any left in this tin? A little bit there. Well, it is hand dyed, so we're not expecting it to be perfect, are we? Perfect solid, right? <laughs> she says. Right, minimal handling done. Put a lid back on ish. And I'll work out how to take the proper lid off in a moment. I just got too excited there. <laughs> so here's the blue one. Let's take it out of the metal dish. As you can see, I squirted quite a bit in. It's soaked up quite a bit and it hasn't left been left standing. I'm literally doing this real time with you. Oh, I sound all posh and stuff. Right. Now it says to uh, wrap it up in the wrap and then leave it for a decent length of time. So that's what I'm going to do. It's looking quite, quite consistent, but we'll find out in however many hours I'm meant to leave it for. Okay, so that's number one. Died. And off to the side. The one that's first dyed is up on the bottom of the dish. Okay, so and now it's time to do a solid blue on the yarn art of baby cotton. And I'm going to do the same as I did last time. Grab the container, dump some dye in. Oh, don't measure it. Guess the mate and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. Right. 
then we're going to take the uh, cotton I'm not going to muck around any time although already I've managed to get some speckles on here just where I've got dye on my glove okay I pop it in now this is only a 10 gram okay just pop it in do that turn it over Now this is looking really cute. I'm going to show you it already, but um, it's got sort of a dark edge and then it comes down and we've got a tie dye. I don't know how saturated the uh, cotton is yet. It's looking very saturated on those ends and mist. Is this bad of me? I don't normally like speckled and off stuff like this, but I'm actually already liking how this one's looking. Why can't I do anything wrong? Well, not wrong, but fully. Right, I am going to have to finish this experiment off properly as planned. So that one's going to go back in the dish. I'm going to have to add some more to it. Um, yeah, some more dye to it to get an even colourway. But I'm going to attempt to do the same thing on the larger hanks later because of course they're my mottled or my mixed ones okay a bit more dye dump it on and hope for the best squidge it now this is one i've got to be quite careful of because this is the mix isn't it it's the cotton oh, i'll turn it over yeah it's the cotton mixed oh i tell you what that's getting bad right okay that one more dipping and then we'll lay it out and see what we got My cling film's clinging to itself. No. Oh, it's going to be a mess. This one. I'm going to have to wipe the sides down in a sec. All right. Okay. So let's get the hank out. Here it is. Just give it a gentle twist. Gentle tug. It's looking like I've got most of the, if not all of it. I can't see any white spots, but time will tell. So let's wrap this one up. Um, just give me a second get rid of some of this excess dye on the gloves. Oh, forget it. Let's get rid of the gloves and <laughs> dye my hands again. Right. Right. So, get out of the way, you. Grab the wrap. Fold it round, there we go, and fold it over. Now what I'm going to do with this one, I'd already decided, is when I wrap it, so that I know which one's which, I'm actually going to use a rubber band in the end section. But there we go. So that's in, that's done. That's got an elastic on it, so that I know that that is the, or was, the plain yarn art cotton. Right, and then I can pop that in with the other one in the tin. Okay, so now it's the experiment to see uh, which colours work the best. Um, again, I'm going to have issues with this one. It's going to just be a case of dumping the dye, I think, because I still haven't worked out how to get these stupid lids off. Oh, this green one's twist. That just twisted off really easy. Come on, pink, be nice to me. Pink and pull. You are joking after all that hand crow. It's twist three times and pull it off. Okay, well, this orange one's not on straight. There we go. Yep, that definitely proves 
I was a little bit excited <laughs> I was going to use the blue. Oh, does it? Oh, or does it? You man, I've twisted this top lid. Is it just going to pull off? One, two. Oh, no. Okay, so it wasn't quite me. Um, this blue cap's defective. Yeah, right. Okay, I feel a bit better. <laughs> a lot lot better now i know <laughs> it was a blue lid <laughs> not all the lids Woohoo! let's say uh, oh god the state of them already right let's grab another pair of tatty gloves that are absolutely useless well not completely but the majority got more lucky bands i will end up using these elastic bands for something else so they will get used again because everybody knows me really well on this channel knows I'm tight and I don't like wasting wasting anything if I don't have to even as far as my little scrap off cuts I bagged up and gave to one of my local schools so that the kids could use it for gluing arts and crafts the teacher was shocked right <laughs> he, he'd never had it happen before right but anyway let's get back we've now got of course a 20 grams of each of these and now we're going to be playing with the full colour bottles excluding the blue just can't get the lid off so what am I going to do gang solids or speckles let's go solids but I don't want a massive clump at each end because that will drive me insane so I'm going to be cheeky here I'm going to dye the pair at the same time so fingers crossed they will look similar at the end. Right, we're gonna start with oh the pink. So let's move it to here. I'm just gonna go in here. I have taken the safety caps off. They're here. Look! Oh that one's got some movement. Okay, we'll start with the yellow then. squidge it and it comes out the lid yay this is um oh these bottles are rubbish but as i said it was a kit i bought a while ago um as some know i'm not overly keen um on audi as much anymore just solely because you can't get the same yarn products all the time um, repeated on each of the special deals and you also um, I can't get chemical paperwork for them either because each time they all use a different supplier. Right, so that's me yellow. So it's looking like this might be a case of a drip it and hope for the best. Okay, green. Trying to remember me rainbow there. Is there any noise coming out of this one? We'll see. <laughs> Lids on. It may need pierced or something. I don't know. I'm dying now. I'm having fun, so bog it. Let's use the a lid as a measuring tool. Tip it out for the best. quite a nice shade actually okay let's go a little bit more or another capful tear it up close to the yellow
Okay. I've got five colours in I so that again comes around to about there. Three, four. I'm going to end up doubling. Let's go a bit wider on the yellow. distance could should really work it on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. All right. On to the green. Let's move that round. End of the bumble. Can you remember how many caps I was up to? I think I was three, maybe four. gone a bit further than I wanted but I don't care <laughs> okay um back to the blue I suppose let's see, go orange can you see up the far end for the orange not really okay um yeah we'll go blue next let's move the shrin wrap and it, um the cling film up so you can see let's see if it decides it wants to move there we go and I've also seen some other things where girls go like that <laughs> get rid of the extra so you don't end up dying <laughs> on the wrong end oh dear that might get over dyed in a few minutes mind because I'm coming in with the blue aren't I right I can't believe none of you told me about the spillage so this thing is turned green doesn't matter right now for number Liam just stuck his head in. <laughs> Saw that I was doing something crazy with colour. Went, forget that. And licked it. <laughs> Promise, Liam, I won't die you. Not with this stuff. I'll make sure it's uh, animal safe first. this little trick I'm doing I don't know if I'm meant to or not where I'm squidging it and then it's sucking it back in again that trick seems to be working pretty well for um for making it go everywhere like sink in properly <laughs> right okay on to the next bit uh, next color next color what are we on blue pink
you see what I mean as I squidge it comes out and then soaks back in again oh I've got some colour mix there thanks crossed wish me luck dump And the last one up is the orange. Now these colours that were in this kit are quite nice and bright actually. Fingers crossed they stay on the cotton. Don't get me wrong, it's it's not perfect, not by a long shot. I can see a couple of areas where there are a little um bits where the colour is either bleeding or not um coloured at all. But I'm hoping they just move <laughs> and sort of as as the yarn picks up the dye more, it just sort of travels up there like that, that spot there. All right, caps back on wash my hands and then I'm going to see what the other side of it looks like. Fingers crossed that the dye has gone all the way through because I really am scared of that thought of having to flip this amount of colour work over considering um, it's very soggy. Right, let's have a let's roll it. And it's gone through because that's the other side there. Sweet. Fingers crossed that works all the way then. Okay, as you can see, there's a little bit of green, <laughs> blue, pink and white in that corner. Oh well, it's, as I said, it's for me, it's a bit of fun. And fingers crossed the dye actually stays. That's the next one, isn't it? It's whether the dye actually takes and stays on the cotton. It said on the box it did. What am I doing? I don't know. Okay, let's clear up some of this spill, especially up this bit because we've got some yellow where the green will have it, and blue where the green is, and the green where the blue. It's a mess, I tell you, a mess. Right. more wrapping so at least then I know I'm safe to fold it so that is one of each did I put anything identifying either of them on there 
No, so this is the proper blind trial. We're not going to know which one's which. I'm a twit. But I uh, hope it was a bit of, as I said, it's fun. It's for me. Fingers are crossed. I can work out what's what by watching the way that I don't know, the way I'm folding this way. I've rolled it, something. I'll just re watch my video and hope I can work it out. Okay, so that is. Oh, that's first test. Need another one of them. There's my rainbow. And of course, I can't do a speckled because not all of these are working. So I'm just trying to think how I could do it. Shall I do that silly trick that I did with a cap where I just dab it and go, dab it and go? Hmm. Because I need something that's going to work with that balloon. I don't know. I'll have a think and I'll get back to you in a bit with the next one. Need one of them blues to match, and I'm hopefully I've picked up the right skein. I'm just trying to check. That's on. Right. And so, I, if I remember rightly, I hooked it round and we stuck it in willy nilly, <laughs> some say. Okay, let's get my shrimp and um, the uh, cling film ready. Not much difference if you look underneath there's colour everywhere. There we move that out because I can't remember how I did the last one <laughs> okay so we've got on here at the moment we've got two semi-solid ends and a wibble wobble end right so let's called the crazy splat splat <laughs> so uh, fingers crossed that'll come out looking reasonable we'll have to wait and see what that crochets up like and of course that one was the Signet 100% cotton because I've got more of those to muck around with than what I have the other one. This one again is the 100%, uh, sorry, the 100 grams. I'm going to lay it out like that. And I'm going to bung some blue in that dish. And name this technique glove painting. <laughs> A 
This is going to get so messy. Turn it over. <laughs> the other side. Because these gloves are so tatty. They won't know. Okay, so that's in with the blue. Mince my hands off quick and then I'm going to go in with another colour. Now, to be honest, I didn't need to dump all of that dye in the dye pan um, in this little container. I'm gonna be tight fisted, and I'm going to put it back in the bottle because I've said to my um, my youngest, when I'm finished making a mess in the kitchen and I've cleaned up, you can have a go. And she said, "Okay, Mum." Okay, so I am seeing visions of sunset or sunrise, whatever the colour is. So we're going to go play with the pink. Splat again. Have I just ruined it? We'll see. Okay. There we go, so that is a pink and blue. There's still quite a bit of white in there, which is what I want because otherwise that's going to drive me insane when it comes to It's going to drive me insane anyway. But it will drive me a bit more insane as I try and crochet with it later. Right. So let's wrap the splat up. Because it says on the uh, packet this stuff needs to be left for four to six hours. How annoying. <laughs> okay, so that's splat done. Now right, we've got the uh, two uh, 10 gram hanks that I'm just arguing with at the moment. Two very thin ones anyway, so I've just doubled those over. And uh, this is the last one of um the sorry it's not the last one sorry it's the last but one of the um 100 cotton so and then we've got one more combo that we can try out so we've done a rainbow we've done a solid we've done a splat 
any ideas i am starting to uh, not quite know yeah now i don't really like working with the greens yellows and oranges my daughter can have those um i'm gonna do let me think actually now i'm gonna use the green and the blues and i'm gonna do a bit of pink i don't know we'll see how it goes um drop it and see okay. crikey that feels saturated as i'm hitting it it's splatting out so i think that's definitely got it on the other side yep okay let's see if i can move it up a little bit by squidging it some sort of a fade there I sound like I know what I'm talking about I haven't got the foggiest I have not watched enough videos okay so we've got the green gonna do the smallest bit of yellow gloves uh pants that's okay we'll, we'll imagine it's flowers or something My leftover blue sticking in some pink oh my word i will never get that again whoa can you i don't know if you can make that out um and let's see how it goes on the um on the cottons really dull, dark um, purple there. Come on, come out. <laughs> I need those last drips. I'm not going to be able to match it up. Hopefully that will go through. It's definitely bleeding into the uh, yellow. Okay, and then we're going to go pink on its own, or with a touch of whatever is left of the purple. Wow, it is seriously raining outside. Give me a minute. Okay, I've sent my daughter on a mission to close all the windows. Okay, so then I'm going to have some of that. That pink has turned into a maroon. Tiny bit more with the brighter pink. 
as I said I am never going to get this colourway again it fades at the end here so that it goes um the dark brighter pink and then it fades into a lighter pink there right let's clean this one up let's wrap this one up and let's hope that the dye went all the way through we'll only find out when we turn the thing over You ready? Wish me luck. <laughs> Three, two, one, flip. <gasps> Sweet! It did. Oh, that is brutal. So we've got a very similar colourway um, on this side as well. That is brilliant. Yeah, let's bring it over. So we have the green working into the yellow, into the blue, to a mauve. No, um, was it? It's more of a pink undertone too. Then we go into oh yeah, mauve, then a purple, then an in your face pink, and then a pastel right at the far end. So, fingers crossed. Then, when however long it's going to take me, that one will come out because I quite like that. And for me, random colours are not a good thing. <laughs> whether I'll ever ever well I'm gonna have to work with it I don't know what I'm gonna make with it and I really don't know what it's gonna look like or how much how insane it's gonna drive me to be because of course I'm still not very good with colors of here there and everywhere but while I'm making these and I'm having fun I'm gonna have to make them into something right here we go a last two hanks do 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 okay so and this one here is um the white one is the 50 grams so that is the yarn art the okay that's not a 50 grams oh it's a mix that's a 20 or or the 10 no that's the 10 okay so we've got a 10 in the signet and a 20 in the yarn art how am i going to play with this one okay let's rinse out my tin which will hopefully get my uh, creative uh, juices working I'm thinking I would like the top one to be a pastel now it said on the bottle if you added add more um, water to the dye it will make it lighter okay so got me tin got me pink I'm going pink here yeah. I'm gonna add quite a bit of half of the dye in and while that is in there and then I'm going to put this whole one in there just get it wiggling and hopefully it's going to soak up the dye alright so I'm just going to leave that sitting in there while we play around with colouring the larger one It doesn't look like it's faded at all. Still look very bright, you know. Right. Okay. So we've got a very flamingo pink there. What can we team that with? 
on this bottom one. Now I did like that maroon that I played with earlier, so I'm going to go pink, dash of blue, probably too much. We'll see. I don't know if the camera all that looks like the ink colour that you used to get in fountain pens. Hey, that's a fountain pen blue, that is. Okay, so this definitely reminds me of being at school. So, being at school means it's time to play. It's the very last one. Um, what should we do? What should we do? What can we play with? <gasps> Kids, you should have put your toys away. Or should I say, husband, should have put your toys away. Time to fly. Okay, so this is one of these um, tops that you can get on these silly little toys out of the pound shop. <gasps> Hufty puffy. Okay, so let's fill it up. <laughs> is that and no i've not done this before this is a going to either work beautifully or i'm about to throw dye all over the house actually i am about to throw dye if i squidge too hard okay is it gonna is the dye gonna come through no oh that is a shame okay so the dyes are not going to come through that but i have got a makeshift drip, dipper dripper <laughs> <laughs> okay that didn't quite drip now did it <laughs> it's a splat right okay so here we go splat This one I am going to run the risk and rotate. After I've picked up the excess splodges. Right. Didn't do too bad, did it? He's really fast flowing, so it is a case of literally splat it and hope for the best. Right, now I'm going to rinse it out. I'm going to nick some of the colour out of one of the others. Right, um, what have we got? We've got blues. Let's go greens. Okay, I don't know if you can see that there. A little bit in the bottom. Add a, a little water to it. Wiggle and hope I've got Flip it over. So I, I just dropped some on the table. It just got super soaked up by the cotton. So that's made life a little bit easier for cleaning up in a bit. And the good thing is, because this is just the standardised colour, just with a 
bit of added water i can be a bit cheeky in a second and i can just dump it back into the bottle so my daughter won't know well she probably will she's more arty farty artistic sorry than i am because i'm not very artistic i see a creation i make a creation <laughs> with crochet but if i'd have had to have invented the stitches i would have not managed it greens blues I should escape already a little bit of orange just realized you can't actually see this I've done this whole sub section and none of you shouted oh wait women can't see it there we go. Right, I'm going to add a couple of drops of the orange in. And just on one side, I think. bit of the pink because I want it to blend in with this one that's in here so I need to add a bit of water to I? just a tad occasional pink Turn this one over. It says hopeful. A little bit more up here. I'm down to the drips of the pink. Some more. Hi, there we go. That is it. I'm out of cotton, gang. And so now my timer needs to go on. I need to make sure this is all cleared up and clean and tidy so I can do dinner. Mm. I've only got to feed them again, and I it's never ending. But um, yeah, I will uh, clear this up and I will be back with you shortly to um, show you uh, what these uh, cottons look like. Hopefully, rinsed. Or at least I'll show you the rinsing process <laughs> and then scream as all the dye comes out. But here we go. Right. I will see you shortly. OK, so that is all of the dyeing done, all of the tidying up nearly done. Um, I'm going to meet you back here and next week to see how well this cotton took to the dye and whether it worked out for me or whether those are little colourways that I made are all just a dream. Right, that is it for me for today. I will see you all really, really soon. So remember, stay chilled, stay happy and keep crafting. Ta-ra for now, everybody.